hello guys welcome to my channel again so today what we are gonna do is we are gonna see how to build query using the query builder option in the properties so for that we are going to use ArcGIS ArcMap and we have two shape files so one is open for you that is the city limit so this is the city of Springfield Missouri and the other is the sinkhole boundaries of the whole place but as you can see some part of the city limits have sorry the some parts of the sinkholes are not within the city limits they are outside they may be in some other city or other county or nearby places so in that case how we are gonna only find the sinkholes which are useful so let's right click on the sinkhole let's see the attribute table so attribute table it helps in determining what needs to be taken out depending on what all features or attributes do you have in the table so we have a shape an object id a column called sec twp rng then length in feet width in feet and source so i'm pretty not sure about what is twp and rng maybe that's the north and west and MW so that may be the latitude longitude or the proper positioning but the factors which can be taken into consideration is the length and the width so you can see it ranges from 430 so let's just sort it a centigrade so there's few which has zero and if we just go down 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 I don't know how many data we have oh oh god it's 7543 but it's a pretty long so let's do it in descending way okay so this is sorted in descending order okay so here we are going down on length and then it's all zeros it started with somewhere around 4800 and we have pretty much above 1000 let's go to the width and see okay so we have quite a lot so if we want we can use both of them either one of them so let's try it out so we'll close this so what we are going to do we are going to go to the properties of the sinkhole boundaries and there you have this tab called general source so what we are going to go do is go to the definition query here we have an option called query builder click on that then you have an option of selecting the length so let's let first go with the length so double click on that that comes on your box or the workspace so the workspace shows select star from say cold boundaries where so we just have to give the condition the rest of the command is already given so length in feet is greater than or equal to we can get the unique values which are there in the system so let's just go down and select somewhere on thousand oh so we have thousand let's do that and click on verify to see whether the expression is successfully verified or not because there won't be some minor errors you might not even know so it's better you just verify before doing that click on ok click apply and click ok see now you just have the one which are of the length as thousand so we can just open the attribute table again and check that oh these are all above the one which are greater than thousand but there are few with width less than thousand so let's try the method 2 so we'll go back again we are going to uh, remove this and again drag the city limit keep the city limit on the top because it would overlap and again go to the properties go back to the query definition tab click on the que query builder let's take the width just the width greater than get unique values and let's see if we have thousand or the way we have thousand oh we have thousand verify successful click on ok apply ok here you go you have 
quite a less quite a less let's see so when you are focusing on the width which is above thousand you also have the length above thousand but you might be missing on some length and width which are both above thousand or which might be both I would say uh, some width might be less than thousand it depends so if you want to make combine them together like taking both length and width above thousand so we can do that we can just remove this or else sometimes you can just delete the query and change it I find it quite tedious so I usually remove it I know so let's build the query so let's put the length greater than get the unit values above thousand let's see where is thousand yup and word greater than equal to get unique values and that should be thousand too so putting and will give only the values which are satisfying both the condition that is length above ten thousand and width above ten thousand we we'll verify the statement and click on OK. We'll click on Apply and click on OK. And now we'll open the attribute table. And we just found 10 which are matching both the conditions. So that is really, really less and that's awesome. So this is the way to use your query builder. You can give much more queries if you want, like based on whatever attributes you have on the table. And this is how you do it and get the data which you want to do an analysis on. So thank you for watching my video.